This group of players that you've had, it looks like they're playing together so well. They've been, they've been together for a year, when in reality it hasn't been all that long. How have they been able to come together? What's enabled them to do that? Well, I'd say I'd start with the fact that when we came in in June, uh, we outlined how our day would go every day, how we would work, how we would invest in each other, um, and that playing for each other was a big part of it. And they've done a good job taking that plan and putting it into motion. Um, when you play together as a group, there's a basketball component to it, but then there's also a people component. You have to want to play for each other. You actually have to care about each other, and you have to invest that time off the court. And I've uh, been pleased up to this point with how our guys have gone about that. On paper, you guys were at a size disadvantage, you know, against Xavier and Memphis. But you guys obviously had success in the paint. I'm curious what kind of led to that. Uh, we talk a lot about um, physicality and how we do things. And um, part of it is certainly size and stature, and part of it's effort and competitive spirit. And so we try, whether it's you know being tough with the basketball or rebounding effort and energy or playing really hard on defense to rotate, to impose our will physically, regardless of how tall or uh, what the weight or the dimensions of, of the guys we're playing. Um, it seems like our guys understand how important that is and, and imposing our will and, and being the more physical team. And that's something that we'll continue to emphasize every day. Did you hear that, and I didn't buy it, but I'm just asking, did you hear back in the, you know, in the day during your first few stints here, during your, you know, when you were here earlier, that you were more recruiter than coach. And certainly you've proved that wrong now. I mean, you can recruit too, but don't get me wrong, but, but you can coach a little bit too. Did you hear that? Well, I think, I think just like uh, players have roles on teams and what they need to do well. Uh, when I came in to work for Coach McDermott, my first opportunity at the Division One level, uh, I was still learning how to coach. Uh, I came here, he gave me an opportunity when I was young and felt like he clearly identified for me that the value I could bring is recruiting and in player development uh, and being on those uh, on the court with the guys. So it wasn't the job I was asked to do. And just like, um, you know, or I shouldn't say it wasn't the job. It was I was asked to do some different things. And I'm thankful to Coach Mack that he continued to, to help me with that development, uh, growing as a coach and was fortunate as we moved forward when Coach Hoiberg came in um, and he told me that he didn't want me out as much recruiting. He wanted me implementing game plans and coaching. So I've, I've been fortunate. Look, I've worked for four really, really good coaches. I've tried to take things from each one of them. I've tried to learn, and then I've also tried to put my own, you know, personality and, and upbringing and how I see the world into things. So um, just really feeling grateful that coaches have empowered me to coach in practice and in games and make those decisions. And, Hopefully that, that helps us as, as we move forward. TJ, are you surprised at all how quickly it has come together, uh, starting 6-0 and and beating two top 25 teams? And you, know, you guys were picked by a lot of people to be you know, near the bottom of the Big 12. Yeah, and, and, and certainly like we, we haven't played any Big 12 games, so it, you know, all those things could, could still be a possibility. What I'd say is like um, I'm, I'm not a real exciting or forward-looking type of person. Uh, I do the same thing every single day. Our team does the same thing every single day. So what I know is our emphasis and focus is, you know, being really good in practice today to cultivate the habits. We, we keep driving home the habits are, you know, you're going to play to that level of your habits in, in key moments. Um, and so right now um, it's great. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of our guys that we won uh, games that, that we set out to win. But uh, my interest is in the daily habits, the progress every day, and our team continuing to improve. For Gabe, how big was it for his confidence to have a game like that where he takes over against a top 10 team like Memphis that has plenty of talent? Well, Gabe's been terrific is how he approaches every single day. And what I believe to be true is Gabe had eight rebounds. Gabe took on the challenge of guarding Bates. Gabe was taking charges, getting steals, flying all over the court. And when you play that hard, uh, the offense just seems to go your way. And, and that was one of the finer games, if not the best, of any player that I've coached in terms of how he imposed his will and his spirit, both offensively and defensively. But I think it all started for him on the defensive end. I think the eight rebounds, you know, flying in there knowing we needed that. Um, you know, when you play really hard and you're really bought into what we're doing, I, I believe the offense just kind of goes your way over time. Coach, a big part of your team is 
seemingly been so far uh, creating steals, uh, getting turnovers, stuff like that. How big of that is your coaching philosophy, and how big of a part does uh, Kyle Green coming out of the staff play a role in that? Well, we started with point of emphasis on ball pressure. I think anybody that's asked questions about our program, it's been ball pressure, um, rebounding effort, and ball toughness. Those have been the three things that we preach every day and that we, we hold our hat on. Um, so uh, it's something that we implemented from the start. It's something that we emphasize every day, and it's something that we practice every day. So you don't just get good at it by you know, hoping to. Uh, as far as, as Coach Green, he's done a terrific job. Uh, I'm proud of the job that he does every day. Coach Blount uh, defensively uh, does some terrific things as well in terms of how we're defending and schemes and what we're doing. And uh, I'm, I'm pleased with what those guys have done to this point. But certainly um, we've got to get refocused right back to where we need to be and, and be very intentional about our defense as we move forward. You mentioned maybe a little bit there, but I guess how have the guys responded in the days since you guys have gotten back? Yeah, they were good today. Uh, we, you know, we had a meeting and we made sure that they understood um, that why we were able to have some success is because of the habits. And so we reiterated the necessity to have those habits every single day and that the intensity uh, and the effort has to be consistent. Um, like I said, it's not, you're not going to play better in the game than you practice. So we need to practice at such a high level that when we get to the game, we only know one way to do things. And, um, I thought our guys did a good job with that today. How would you kind of assess Tyrese through six games? Straight out of high school, six games in college, going against some top 25 teams. How would you kind of assess how he's been so far? Well, Tyrese is a, a terrific competitor. Uh, he's a winner. He's always won. Uh, he cares. He cares about Iowa State. He cares about the success of his teammates. Uh, he wants to be coached hard, which is challenging because less guys probably really want that. He wants to know the brutally honest truth at all times. Um, he's shown terrific maturity for somebody who just turned 18. And possibly his greatest quality, which I really admire in him, is when something doesn't go away, his ability or go his way, his ability to bounce back the next play. So um, we have high standards for Tyrese, and he's done some good things for us. But also, I know he can do a lot better uh, and be a lot better for us than even what he's done up to this point. Thank you.